It seems that the internet is full of secrets. Whether you go on Facebook or any other site, you'll find that there are six secrets to smoother skin, or ten secrets to financial security after 50, or five secrets to what you need to eat for better health. You name it, there's a secret and a numbered list to go with it. These things are generally referred to as clickbait because no one can resist the opportunity to be in on a secret, particularly if it's neatly numbered. Who doesn't want to have the secret that's going to make everything better? The secret that just fixes things. Well, it turns out that it's hard to get a bunch of like really satisfying secrets out of a numbered list on Facebook. But we do want the secrets, the secret to the meaning of life. That's what we come to our religion for. And it feels like that's what we're supposed to be given, like Buddha under the Bodhi tree. We want the secret revealed to us in a flash of illumination so that we understand. That happened to me once, actually. It really did. I was in college and I was talking with friends sitting on the floor in the house that we shared in Portland. And contrary to the reputation of the alma mater that Meg and I shared, there were no drugs involved. It was just flat out revelation. And I realized in a flash of insight how to understand the universe. I will share with you this flash of insight. The universe is made up of things and the spaces between things. You can't argue that it's not true, it seems obvious, and yet I think it says something that matters. The universe is not just things, it's also the spaces between the things. In the same way that an atom is made up of particles, they're all particles in relationship. And how you understand that relationship is how you understand the atom. And who we are as people is about being things and the spaces between things. If you think about it, the secret of life, of religion, of Unitarian Universalism, really comes down to the things and the spaces between things. Because here is what I believe. Here is my theology. Here is my understanding of God. I will give it to you, the secret. We are, all of us, unique individuals. We are all particular things. We are all deserving of recognition for our inherent worth and dignity. Unitarian Universalism's first principle our thingness matters. Who we are matters. Recognizing the particular gifts that we have to give to the world, the particular insights that we have, the particular experiences that we have, the particular knowledge, the particular physicality, all of those things matter. Our own unique particulars. And what is equally and paradoxically true is that we are all the same thing. We're all connected. It's the Unitarian Universalist seventh principle about belonging to an interdependent web of all existence of which we are a part. And that is just as true, that acknowledgement of how we are embraced by the spaces between us. In the same way, that light is made up of particles, measurable particles, little bits of things, and at the same time, light is a wave, completely and utterly connected. And in the same way that those two things cannot possibly simultaneously be true, it's true. It's true of light that it is both a particle and a wave, and it's true of us as people. We are both the things and the spaces between things. We are both 
the wave and the particle. We are both individuals with inherent worth and dignity of our individual own, and we are at the same time inseparable. All of a piece, a wave function of humanity. And I think it's true not just of people, but of everything that every single thing has its unique particulate worth and dignity and every single thing is more connected than we can possibly imagine. And that wave function, that interdependent web, that more connected than we can possibly imagine cannot possibly be true at the same time that we are all unique individuals and like light. It is true. It is so. That's what I would call God, if I call anything God. It is that wave function that we only catch in glimpses, in moments of pure revelation of the secret of life. That you are you, and I am me, and we are both together. <laughs>